Our top focus on news point, we continue to track what is happening in West Asia. Multiple explosions were reported in the southern suburbs of Beirut as Israel continues to intensify its strikes against the Hezbollah group in Lebanon. Hezbollah chief says indirect talks on a ceasefire are possible, but only if Israel stops its attacks on Lebanon. In a televised address, Naim Qasim said there could be a road to indirect negotiations through the Lebanese state. That's only if Israel stops its aggression. But the Hezbollah leader also said that he does not believe that political action would bring an end to the hostilities. He said only developments on the battlefield, not the diplomatic moves, would bring an end to the hostilities between the group and the Israeli military. When the enemy decides to stop the aggression, there will be a path to negotiations that we have defined clearly. Indirect negotiations through the Lebanese state and President Nabi Beri, who holds the banner of the political resistance, which leads to Lebanon's stature and the end of the aggression. The Hezbollah chief further said that they will continue to fight and a win for either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump in the U.S. election did not make a difference to them. Remember, U.S.'s diplomatic efforts to halt the war between Israel and Hezbollah, including a 60-day ceasefire proposal, faltered last week ahead of the election season. The statement came as Israel struck eastern city of Baalbek in the Beka Valley. According to the country's health ministry, the strikes killed at least 40 people and wounded another 53. And at dusk, more strikes hit Beirut's southern suburbs. Israeli strikes have battered Hezbollah strongholds in the capital. At least four strikes targeted the area on Wednesday after the Israeli military ordered residents to evacuate from several locations. Meanwhile, Hezbollah fired missiles at an Israeli military base near Ben Gurion Airport. Israeli media reported a rocket had landed near the airport. Later, the Israeli military said dozens of missiles had crossed into the Israeli territory from Lebanon, some of which were intercepted.